what is up my fellow household appliances it's your boy Eldre back with another video and today we got another music marketing kind of video so if this is your first time seeing me if it's your first time stumbling across the channel make sure you go check out i have a music marketing playlist on my channel so you're not just sitting here like who is this guy why should i even listen to him i've done videos super transparent of like exactly how i got to 1 million monthly listeners on spotify um i've been doing this music stuff for a while so yeah, definitely go check out the rest of my stuff if you want, if you're skeptical of my credibility and whatnot. <laughs> so as the title of the video states, we're going to be doing five ways to promote your music like the labels do, but without the label budget. You know what I'm saying? We're independent. We might not have like $50,000 to promote a single. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I've learned a lot. I've been a do-it-yourself kind of guy. I'm still independent. I pretty much taught myself how to do everything you see me do now. Let me just give you the rundown on some ways that I've been able to reach all this success avoiding having to you know be signed to a label so without further ado let's get into it so number one this should be obvious but i cannot stress it enough you have to be on every single social media platform. What I really mean by that is don't ever feel like you're too cool to be on TikTok. You know what I'm saying? That is a really big thing right now. Um, a lot of people are split. They think TikTok is dumb, so they're not going to utilize it as a tool to promote their music, even though they've seen how much success comes from it. I mean, look at me. Like I blew up on TikTok and now I've got my own house, own studio, all this kind of crazy stuff. I owe a lot of that to TikTok really. But besides TikTok, because TikTok, the algorithm is crazy. You can get a million views overnight and then your next video can get a thousand views overnight or 500 views overnight. You wanna build a foundation on every single social media platform. You just wanna make sure if your song flops on TikTok, Maybe it could pop off on YouTube or maybe it could pop off on Instagram. Maybe it could pop off on Twitter. So you don't want to rely on one social media to basically give you everything you need. You know what I'm saying? For instance, like my married life flip. It didn't go viral on TikTok, but I posted it on Twitter randomly and it went super viral on Twitter. Next thing you know, I was on Complex and Rap Genius and stuff like that. So even the YouTube algorithm sometimes, sometimes a song might flop on TikTok and next thing you know, YouTube just decides to recommend that song to hundreds of thousands of people. So now it has a million views on YouTube and a hundred thousand on TikTok or something like that. But at the end of the day, all my social media platforms are directing right back to my Spotify, Apple Music and all that. Number two, utilize free tools. Utilize all the free tools possible. For instance, I did a YouTube video on how to make your own cover art. And basically with that, you know, there's free apps to make your own cover art. There's websites like Unsplash where you have royalty free photos that you can use and turn into artworks. And shout out to the channel sponsor DistroKid. If you're distributing your music with DistroKid, sure, yeah, it's not a free tool because you do have to pay $20 a year or something like that, $20, $30 a year. But DistroKid happens to have a ton of free tools to promote your music, almost on the scale of a label. Real quick, we can dive in because they've updated a lot of this. Some people, if you're already signed up, you might not even know. If you haven't signed up, you might want to sign up right after this. The link is in the description, by the way, if you want a discount when you sign up. But let me show you some of the goodies they have on DistroKid for free. All right, so this is DistroKid. Um, as you can see, they got this little, they got this new little goodies section. You know, there's a bunch of new stuff. Get heard now, promote yourself, special access, enhance your music, protect your music, helpful when needed. Uh, what we're talking about right now is promote yourself. So obviously if you have DistroKid, you already know they have hyperfollow. So with the hyperfollow, it's going to list all the links to your song, Spotify, Apple Music, uh, what Deezer, whatever it may be, give it in one link and then boom, you're good to go free with DistroKid. Um, another one, mini videos. I really like this one. This one's cool. Basically, there's all these funny little animations that you can use to make your video. Let's see, two men um, pick a song. What's our what's our latest song? Boom, wacky maybe blah, blah, blah. You can pick whatever, blah, 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 generate mini video. But oh wait, <laughs> I guess I've already done that in the past. Here it is, view. They have another one that's a meme video generator. Basically, you make a new video, you got Marcel or you got Baby Yoda. Boom, same thing. You pick a song and it does this little Baby Yoda thing. I already did one. Uh, here it is for Adventure Time.
You know what I'm saying? We making memes. So DistroKid can do all that kind of stuff for you now. Like I said, they have a bunch of different ones. So those are some of my favorite things in there video wise, but they also have another cool thing called promo cards. Generate promo cards. Done. Look at this. Look at these. Download, boom. Take that, post it on your story to promote your new song. So yeah, bottom line is make sure you utilize all the free things that are within DistroKid. And there's way more than that that I don't even have time to cover in this video. And like I said, if you haven't signed up for DistroKid, use my affiliate link in the description. It'll help out the channel and you'll also get a discount. So hey, win-win. All right, number three to follow that one is Learn how to do things yourself. You know, the main thing labels do have over us is their money and their resources. You know what I'm saying? So not only do they have the money to hire anybody to do anything, but they also have the people to hire. Uh, maybe they already have people on their teams that are getting a salary to do all this kind of stuff. You never know. So if you're going the independent route and you're not making much money off your stuff, then you're definitely, definitely, definitely going to have to learn how to do things yourself. Me personally, I kind of grew up doing photography and film so i kind of always knew how to use photoshop and how to use video editing softwares like iMovie, Final Cut, and all that kind of stuff. You know, if you don't have that much experience with it, you're gonna have to learn how to make videos, how to edit photos. There's millions of YouTube videos teaching you how to do literally anything you need to know how to do, so don't worry about that. But if you do have some money and you do prefer some kind of structure, you know, there's a bunch of websites like Udemy and stuff like that where you can just buy courses and literally take little online classes to learn stuff also number four now number four i didn't know if i wanted to make this number four because this one is really different for everyone but number four make as many connections as possible i shouldn't be giving you this advice because i've been an introvert since birth the whole reason why i started doing the instagram social media stuff is because i didn't want to be bouncing from session to session having to meet people like that just sound horrible to me so i went the internet route and i did everything on my own because that's just the kind of person i am but but as I made a name for myself and built myself up, I did meet people along the way that hooked me up, you know what I'm saying? So you don't have the label budget, but you know, maybe you did something for somebody who happens to do artwork and now you're cool with them. They're gonna hook you up. They're either gonna hook you up with a good price. They're either gonna do stuff for you for free, favor for a favor kind of stuff. You never know what kind of connections you can make. You meet somebody at school, you meet somebody in college and they know how to do videos, they know how to do photos, so now they're taking pictures of you for your album, stuff like that. You know the music industry, like it's all about connections. If you're friendly and you make some good connections, you just gotta be nice, you gotta offer stuff for people. I know like with me, TikTok, there's been a few people who, you know, I give them free beats for their YouTube channel or something like that, and in return, they'll probably use some of my sounds in their TikToks and that'll help my music get promoted. But it's always organic. It's never like, hey, if I send you this, will you do this for me? It's more like, hey, I really like the stuff you're doing. Here's some free beats to use in YouTube videos or whatever like that. Boom, next thing you know, they're using those beats in their Instagram videos and tagging you and stuff like that. And boom, now you got some more publicity, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's number four, make some connections. Don't be afraid. Um, there's a lot of people out there that can help you. Join a Discord. You could join my Discord if you want. A bunch of cool music producers. We got a few artists in there as well. And you know, we just collab, we talk, and we help each other where we can. Now, number five, kind of a curveball, but very, very important. Number five is do not skimp on the quality. I know most of these tips are about free this, free that, but there are some things that are worth paying for. All right, um, your music, for instance, if you're a rapper and you don't know how to mix vocals well, don't be afraid, save up some money, take an extra shift or something, save up some money, get somebody to mix your stuff. Don't be afraid to buy beats. Don't waste all your time trying to learn how to make beats just because you don't wanna pay other people for beats. I get it though, definitely try to make your own beats. That's what I did. I started making my own beats when I used to rap, but if your beats are trash right now and you wanna rap right now, you're gonna have to buy some beats right now until you get better at making beats. Same thing with the artwork. You watch my video on how to make artwork and you try it and it's just not that good. You realize you just maybe don't have the eye for this stuff. Please do not skimp out on the artwork. 
these things are like the most important things, at least to me. When I'm on Spotify, if the artwork is trash, I'm, I'm not going to want to click it. If the mix is trash, I'm going to skip it. If just the overall quality of the song or beat, whatever it is, is trash, I'm not going to want to listen to it ever again. If there's a thumbs down feature, I'm going to thumbs down it so it's not recommended to me again. Please, please, this is for having a low budget. It's not about being cheap. And I'm not a financial advisor, but once you start making money off of your music after utilizing the tools in this video i understand if you have bills that need to be paid sure go pay your bills but for the most part just put all of that money you make in the beginning back into the music don't buy the new travis scott shoes buy the new microphone buy the new headphones you know what i'm saying make smart decisions if music is really what you want to do I mean, obviously, I'm not going to sit here and look down on people and, the, and how they spend their money. But if you do have the money to pay for higher quality things, whether it be artwork, your mix, whatever it is, do that. All right. Don't skimp out on it. Don't say, oh, no, I can do this. And then you do it bad when it could have been better if somebody else did it. But yeah, that's my list. Um, sorry if it was long. I hope you learned something. I hope you got something from this video that you can utilize right when you end the video. If not, don't stop here go watch some more videos. There's a bunch of people giving good advice on here on how to promote your music. Um, the journey doesn't end with this video. I also have a bunch of other videos as well dedicated to like Spotify and playlists and all that kind of stuff. So you can check all that kind of stuff out on my channel. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like that, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. If you want to see some more, if you don't have DistroKid, hit that link, go get it 7% off with my affiliate link and go stream the music. You know what I'm saying? Go L.DRE on all streaming platforms. Uh, if, you, if you're new to me, go check out my music. Go check out the stats, you know what I'm saying? See if this guy knows what he's talking about. Go check out my TikTok and see how I've built that thing up from scratch, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, I'm not a marketing expert. I just know a thing or two by now, you know? <laughs> That's it. That's all I can say. I'm a table. Don't let anybody tell you what you can or cannot be. Thank you for watching. Eldrea.